Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming, episode 7 of Real Solar System KSP today. And I have finally switched to Realism Overhaul. Now I, uh, in the screen right now, you will see the planet Venus, and we are coming in with our probe, getting closer and closer. Anyway, I thought, I've been using Real Solar System with just that and some other mods, and I thought Realism Overhaul would make it significantly harder. No, it actually made the rockets realistic. <laughs> I guess it was supposed to, because my rockets on the other one were ridiculous. So, I give up my overpowered Vasimir engines for everything else being balanced, and I took that. So anyway, today we're landing a um, probe with just a parachute on the surface of Venus, and uh, in real life this would of course have to have very uh, pressure resistant, because the atmospheric pressure on the surface of Venus is really, really high. Uh, there was an RTG attached, but I don't actually have deadly reentry installed, but I do have far now, and it might as well have had deadly reentry because we dropped about 10,000 meters per second in um, a second, pretty much, and it ripped off the RTG, and I was afraid of it decimating the uh, probe as well, but it didn't. The probe survived, and uh, you would think it would be easy from now on, but this took me a lot of tries. Uh, uh, anyway, some stats about Venus. Venus is about the size of the Earth, a bit smaller gravity, the atmosphere is extremely uh, pressurized, there's a lot more of it, surface temperatures are extremely high. Um, and then right here I'm going to skip ahead because no one wants to watch an object fall at 20 meters per second terminal velocity for 60,000 meters. Yeah. Anyway, um, earlier mission, I tried this over and over and some, th and I kept getting physics glitches. like. I had the probe get shot out into Venus and go out the other side of Venus and come out at 62 million times the speed of light. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> anyway, I actually had to do a, the first mission because I kept just getting shot out at these insane speeds and it, I couldn't quick load. Anyway, I also found out that if you actually deploy the chute, your ship goes so slow that it explodes. So, uh, um, what I do is pre-deployment and then at about 50 meters I'm going to cut the chute and it's just going to fall, and the terminal velocity at 5,000 meters altitude is actually less than the braking velocity for this object. So the terminal velocity will end up being about 11 at the very end, and the velocity that you ha the maximum velocity to break this is 12 meters per second. So I was fine, and it, it just hit the ground, and it didn't really bounce because of the high gravity. And uh, I wasn't quite cruel enough to my Kerbals to send a... Um, manned pod here. Uh, that would be pretty mean, I gotta say. <laughs> but, yeah. And, uh, I, realism overhaul is great. Uh, my rockets actually look normal. They don't look like these ridiculous... Ri they, they were completely ridiculous in the old one. I never showed my launch vehicles for a reason. Uh, yeah, I do have to try... It's, it's really fun to use the real fuels as well, so I'm still learning. That's why I was just sending this uh, pretty simple mission rather than go as a more uh, extravagant one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, there's a view of the surface of Venus, so you can see, because I haven't seen that at all. So um, Please subscribe, push that button in the top corner, uh, like, comment, and I'll see you next time for episode 8, which is going to be some sort of space station, most likely. Again, thanks for watching. There's Venus.